At the beginning of the film, an elderly woman is seen crawling around her apartment, probably because she is not too weak to get up. Then she ties a long rope to the furniture and throws the other end out the window. She hates this apartment so much. And he tries to escape, one way or another, despite his advanced age. She somehow gets out. And they grab the rope tightly, well, just at this moment, the hands slip off after which she falls, it seems that she died, but when the camera turns to her, it becomes clear that the rope miraculously held her. On her leg, an elderly lady is trying to reach the ground. But the rope pulls her upstairs back to her apartment, the windows will close forever. A few months later, a young 25-year-old girl Anna. She enters the apartment, where she is met by the building manager Muller. It seems that the current tenant is a completely different elderly lady that we saw at the very beginning. He looks around the room and finds it charming. The offer becomes even more tempting when they mention the low rent for an apartment that is located in the center of Vienna. Before signing the lease, Anna asks the old lady. Why she moves out, the latter replies that she wants to travel the world. It seems very strange to Anna. A woman her age. Nevertheless, she believes her, there is nothing strange about it. These days, people don't retire until they're almost dead. After that, Anna told me that she was new to the city, that she came with her ex-boyfriend, but it didn't quite work out and now she's all alone. Anna continues to explain her story the elderly woman begins to worry. Does she want this apartment or not? Anna answers, yes. Muller hands her the lease, Anna tries to sign. The pen doesn't work, but the old lady has a spare one in her hand. This indicates that she is in a hurry to hand over the apartment to Anna. And as soon as the deal is concluded, the lady takes her things and leaves happy. Mueller will leave soon, too, but not before we say Anna. So that she would call him if she needed any help. After that, Anna quickly starts cleaning and rearranging. Brings all the things, starts painting the walls. It's very dusty here. Therefore, Anna throws away useless items, including a small piece of cloth that lies on the top shelf. But when she comes back after throwing out the trash, oddly enough, the place has become the same again. The new apartment got dirty. Covered with dust. Fruit instantly rotted. A piece of cloth that was above the shelf reappeared. Anna is stunned by the incident. But still, she's tidying up again. Anna is crazy. However, every time she goes to throw out garbage bags, the apartment becomes the same again. Anna's eyes begin to get covered with wrinkles. At night Anna sleeps on the couch tired. As the radio suddenly starts playing, Anna goes to turn it off. Looking in the mirror, Anna understands that everything has changed dramatically. The very next morning, enraged, Anna goes to the manager of the Muller house. She accuses him of offering her a haunted apartment. She also demands to return her security deposit. To which he replies it's impossible. The clause stating that the tenant cannot leave the apartment until there is a new tenant. This paragraph is written in such tiny words that it is almost invisible. A magnifying glass is required. As expected, she bursts into anger and threatens to report him to the police. But Mueller doesn't seem to be going to do that, he just warns her to stay in queer because that's what the contract says. However, she ignores the warnings and leaves. Anna goes straight to the clinic to get a medical report so she can file a complaint with the police. But strangely enough, the doctor believes that wrinkled skin and gray hair are normal for a 25-year-old woman. Anna shouts in anger that she has every right to take tests. And snatches out his ID card. To her horror, the contents of the ID card were erased. Soon after Anna went to the hotel to spend the night, the administrator again asks to show her ID card. Anna has to pay extra for the room. That night Anna suddenly wakes up and realizes that she has become weak. A miracle, it turns out, and very old. Like an octogenarian woman. Anna slowly approaches the sink and coughs causing a couple of teeth to fall out. The next day, she returns to the haunted apartment and confronts Mueller. Muller is not surprised by her condition and mentions that she had to follow clear protocols in which it is clearly said do not leave the house. If a tenant signs a contract and leaves his apartment, he quickly ages until he dies. Muller also shows that the apartment does not like to be alone. That is why the tenant should always be there. After the conversation, Anna goes into the room. And after a while, Muller suddenly realizes that the box of matches is missing. He rushes into Anna's apartment, discovers that the door is locked from the inside. An elderly lady poured whiskey all over the room and decided to burn it to the ground. However, when she lights a match, it doesn't light up. Anna tries to try again, but unfortunately the house act starts to choke her. When Anna falls to the floor, Miller somehow opens the doors, leans over to Anna and takes a piece of cloth out of her mouth. 
saving a life. Shortly after, Muller hands Anna a drink and we start talking about queer. The apartment has existed for more than 10 years and there has always been a tenant in it. At one time several schoolgirls lived there, became grandmothers in a matter of days. This incident made the news all over the country. One priest even tried to destroy the apartment in order to survive witchcraft from it. However, he was mysteriously found dead. Before his plan began to be implemented. This implied that the apartment did not want any interference and therefore the government stopped caring about it, kept it secret, which is why even the police do not take any action against the alleged haunted apartments. He is appointed caretaker of this place. His duties are to make sure that people regularly visit this place. This is a job that he doesn't like, but that he has to do. Before leaving, Muller suggests that the woman find a new tenant, as this is the only way to escape from the apartment. The woman puts on some makeup and sends for help to her ex-boyfriend. Unfortunately, even he does not recognize her and says that he is in a hurry. Anna tries to reveal her real identity, but Daniel assumes that this is his ex-girlfriend's grandmother. At the same time, his new girlfriend arrives in her car to pick him up. It turns out these two are also hunting for an apartment. Anna has a great opportunity to lure them into a trap and set them up. But Anna doesn't say a word to them and lets them go. Later at night, the radio starts playing in the apartment again and some objects move by themselves. It turns out that the apartment is trying to make friends. Cooks a wonderful meal for her. Anna wakes up. She finds food right next to her sofa, but she throws it away. However, when she finds out that she also made tea and Cora, she decides to try a little. Anna slowly pours tea into a cup and takes a sip, surprisingly, but she likes it. What prompted her to take a cookie next to the trash can, where she had thrown the food earlier? Anna is too frail and weak to cook and now she has begun to rely on her only friend the apartment. Over the next few days, Anna becomes extremely frail and needs a cane to walk her body looks like she's over a hundred years old. She looks at her wrist and notices that something is moving inside. So she starts to tear the skin. Amazingly, the skin comes off without any effort. Detecting a strange wire-like substance inside. Anna knows that her imminent death is near. That's why she calls Muller to her house. In the next scene, a married couple comes to the apartment to rent it. It turns out that Anna's ex-boyfriend Daniel and his new girlfriend. As usual, these two are tempted by cheap rent. Nice furniture around, they also like the fact that there are no other tenants living in the neighboring apartment, which makes it even more peaceful. Therefore, they agree to sign the contract. Muller happily hands them the lease, and Daniel prepares to put pen to paper, and Anna, who is watching everything that is happening nearby, suddenly remembers the time when she was trapped as well. She remembers the pain and suffering she had to go through. Therefore, before her ex-boyfriend has time to sign his death sentence, Anna pours hot tea on his hand and pushes him away, then Anna shouts to the young couple to get out of the apartment. They never returned, Daniel and his wife are clearly stunned by the actions of the old lady, but they leave without saying a word. With this, Anna loses her last chance to get out of this apartment. She could have lured her ex-boyfriend into a trap and lived the last few days of her life in peace and tranquility, but she decided not to. This shows that Daniel's love still exists, that she is ready to sacrifice herself, to break the vicious circle of this unfortunate Quartra. Even Muller is surprised by her selfishness and perseverance. Before he leaves, Anna orders the door to be locked from the outside and not to return for at least several years. Anna hopes that if no one comes, the cycle will finally end and the spirit inside the apartment will die. Muller agrees, leaves this place, wishing her good luck. Now she is all alone in the quarry, no one comes to meet her, she does not have the strength to go down. She goes to the window and feels the breeze for the last time, which makes her feel relaxed and calm, all the fear and anxiety in which she has remained for the past few weeks have disappeared. I finally resigned myself to my fate, she asks the apartment to be gentle, and then they head to the sofa, which will soon become her last resting place. The apartment starts the procedure, Anna dies instantly. Her head is absorbed by the sofa, becomes a part of it. Slowly, her body also mixes inside the sofa, only her clothes remain. Wires come out of the old woman's heart, which fit into sofa cushions. Her head returns to the white cloth, and right next to her are two identical white clothes indicating that I am using my victim to renew myself. However, since there are no victims left, we can only assume that the apartment will die soon. The movie ends. Subscribe. While. Wow.